All right, so, got that, gift card, and oh, something else that I brought, because I think a few did. How about recommending, keeping the holiday store open, how about recommending our e-gift certificates or our Tupperware gift cards? Now, how many have done that? How many have used that? Not many. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we've got to show them how to do that, right? Um, I'll tell you, I got an interesting phone call from a guy. This was last holiday season. And I could tell he was kind of timid about calling me. Uh, I don't know, it might have been a guy thing. But he said that he had got my name off, saw my website, uh, did my zip code, knew that I was relatively close to him, and he had a, a daughter away at college. And on her Christmas gift list was just the word Tupperware. <laughs> and so he said, you know what I'd really like to do is I'd like to get her a gift certificate for Tupperware, a gift card if you guys make those. Um, he said, because I don't know what she wants. She just got Tupperware down there. Uh, and so he said, you know, I'll go ahead and buy a $100 gift certificate, but I'm so glad that I know you because I'm going to be buying more of these holiday gift certificate, certificates from you, but uh, I just want to start and make sure I get one ordered in time for my daughter uh, to give in her Christmas card as an add-on gift. So what we do is we just go to the website. You go to your website. You buy a Tupperware gift certificate, and you buy it at 100% retail, okay? So you could go into your website and order it. You instantly get a $100 sales credit. So those are good to do, right, when you need that money at the end of the month, because then you can take that gift certi certificate and always redeem it as you need it. Are you with me? Right. And you'll get your profit in your biweekly checks that you get or in your check, your commission check, if it happens to fall at that particular time of the month. Then you could take these pretty little gift cards, and I did bring them. I could show them to you. They're somewhere. I oh, think look, they're in that bag, black bag. Uh, you could take our holiday gift cards, flip them over, and there's a place for you to write that certi gift certificate number. And our gift, aren't they pretty? Our gift certificates, I, I mean our gift cards, I think are absolutely beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? And we can get these for you for a dollar. Is that what we buy them for? I don't know if they're available this year. Are they? Yes, they are. Um, we, we got an email about it. From you. Oh, did you? Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. It's still okay? Yeah. So we're all right. Okay, good. Uh, but anyways, this is what the gift card. I'll pass one around this side, pass one down this side. Go ahead and look at it. Turn it over on the back. And all the information that the uh, person who you're given the gift card to needs to know to log on to your website will be on the back of this card. And you put it in a, in a regular Christmas card or birthday card like you would. And we have some holiday versions. Uh, we had some anytime versions. Uh, I don't know if she's still carrying the ones with the cookware, but we even had our cookware featured and pictured on them. They're very, very classy cards. It, I think one of the FSRC sisters gets them printed. For about one dollar, you can buy these cards, so it'll cost you a dollar. But if you get a hundred dollar gift certificate, who cares? He spent a buck giving him the card, right? Are you with me? So holiday gift cards are really a great idea for you to have. Keep your shop open till the very last minute, especially after the timeline. And I, I did print somewhere our timeline for shipping, and it does vary according to where you live. But I believe ours was December 15th. And I think mine's the 18th. And yours is the 18th? You sure? No, no, no. I think it's reverse. I think it's reverse. Reverse. Yours is, yours the, is the 15th. Ours if you're the on the East Coast or your upline is on the. And then if you're on the West, like Judy is and Linda is, right? Do you follow? Technically, but we will be shipped like the East. So, okay. we'll so make sure you go into the last 14 days. Check out your holiday shipping so that you get it right. I, I think I did print it out tonight. Um, something else that I want you to think about is Toys for Tots this holiday season. You talk about keeping your store open. Am I all right on time? You're good. Okay. Uh, you talk about keeping your holiday store open. Think about what you could do for Toys for Tots. Um, I remember I had uh, somebody very, very involved with the U.S. Marine Corps ordered out 100 Shape O toys. Wow. 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 That's awesome. Had them in, and her mission was to get rid of all 100 <laughs> and push them to people to support the Toys for Tots. 
she got rid of every one of those 100 shapos because at her party she would do a little testimonial about Toys for Tots and the benefit to the children. She had her toy box, she had an empty box wrapped in Christmas paper and had all of the Shapo toys there for instant purchase and got rid of all of the 100 help Toys for Tots and if you've got your calculator going on in your brain, look at her retail sales credit in incremental sales this time of the year. You know, we've got some sales going on. We've got some sales going on the totem pails. We've got some other cute little toys that are available in this monthly brochure. So why not think about buying them up, offering your Toys for Tots sale. You could cut it if you want to, cut the shipping if you want to, to do your part for Toys for Tots. But that is a very good, because they are toys you can trust. They are nostalgic toys. They are toys that are handed generation to generation. So I love it that we can give such a quality toy uh, to children in need. One other thing I want to tell you about keeping your store open for Christmas is to have some sort of a advertisement for Help Wanted because this is National Recruiting Month, right? And I hope that everybody in this room has recruited at least one person for the, for the sake of our Mission 10K. How many in here have recruited so far? Woo-hoo, Shannon! Okay, stand up. Stand up. Let's see who got to recruit. Come on, stand up. All righty, look at everything. Now look, it is, uh, what, November the 15th? Uh, National Recruiting Month is really more than half over. We have got to shape up this recruiting. Oh. Speaking of recruiting, people ask me if I really make money in Tupperware. And you know, I got to tell you, occasionally I do get a chance to stash some cash. In fact, I like to show you what I got right here. Because this represents the cash that I have made off of just one Tupperware party. You believe this? Isn't this amazing? So let me tell you a little bit about it because if you guys ain't been recruiting, maybe you could do the same at your next Tupperware parties, your vendor show, wherever you get an audience, you could do this little thing. What I did do was I took 100 real one dollar bills and I take them end to end. Now 100 would be a modest Tupperware party profit because typically I do average about hundred and fifty dollars off of a Tupperware party but for the sake of somebody just brand new coming into our business I think a hundred reflects even a brand new consultant's earnings off of a party. So what I did and probably my people are sick of me doing it, what I did is I went ahead and just taped a hundred of them together and I tell my Tupperware story through my money. I flash it the whole time that we're there. And I start off by saying, yeah, there really is cash in Tupperware. You know, I started over 30 years ago selling Tupperware. Went to my very first Tupperware party. I was four months pregnant with my third child, and I had two more at home. And I remembered when the Tupperware lady asked me to sign up and sell, I was thinking, you know what? I'd love to make some extra money, but with three kids now, it's not even gonna pay me to go back to work. So I started selling Tupperware. And here I am, over 30 years later, still selling Tupperware and still making real money. You know what, not only did I make money over those 30 years, but I am the proud owner of over 18 different cars from Tupperware through my Tupperware career. So I have been driving a lot of free vehicles. So you know, for, if you need a new car, that could be a reason too to come on in Tupperware and let us give you one. And you know what I discovered being in Tupperware? That I now have a passion for travel. They have sent me everywhere. Do you know I've been in Europe, and now those are probably my favorite trips. I've even been in Europe with my girlfriend several times. In fact, I remember, uh, I think one of the first trips we took was maybe to Rome. Yes. I've also been to Spain. I've been to Portugal. I've been to London. We also had a beautiful trip to the French Riviera. Oh my gosh, who goes to the French Riviera? Tupperware does. Uh, London, Hawaii several times, cruises. If you're really sitting there wondering tonight if there is money in Tupperware, 
There's plenty of money in Tupperware, and I hope that you'll check that little box on your order form so I can give you some more information on how you can start your very lucrative money-making business in Tupperware. So try that.